Hey everyone! Today I am going to have a, well, I'm going to show you these postcards. Um, my husband ordered these from German Amazon. Um, they aren't available um, on UK Amazon. I don't think on um, Amazon.com either. Um, often with Johanna Basswood postcards, they these days they only come out on Germany, in Germany. I think, as far as I'm aware, um, it seems like Germans prefer um, postcards to the rest of us. <laughs> I don't really know um, why, but uh, so anyway, um, with her world, world of Flowers and Worlds of Wonder as well, the postcards only came out in Germany. So this is the same. Now, I used to buy these from Book Depository, unfortunately not. So her husband bought them, as I said, from Germany. Um, Amazon. I will include a link um, if I can find any that are more local or useful. I'll see what I can do. I thought I'd start by showing you the size because they are quite small. So in inches it's under six inches, just under six inches by just over four. So in centimetres, which is how I work, it's about 14 and a half by ten and a half. Now those are a little bit smaller than the postcards that we might have been used to from Johanna from Secret Garden and Enchanted Forest etc. But I find it quite useful in a way than being smaller because they fit in envelopes. The large ones seem sometimes a bit big for the envelopes that I have anyway. So that's quite good. But it does sometimes mean that the details are rather small when you're colouring. So uh, let's come in as close as I can and we'll have a little look. So you can see the cover. Um, I think that might, I haven't looked at what that um, actually means in German and we've got some German on the back. Again, um, it says something about sending to friends and family. The best-selling author, Johanna Basford, has 24 wonderful postcards, something rooms. Uh, yeah, my German is not brilliant. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure that says room. That says postcards, but I don't know. Anyway, let's let's get a looking. So inside here, we just have some information. 2022. Um, uh, oh, it says this edition published by Arrangement Penguin Books. Blah blah blah. Nothing really very exciting. There's a. I assume that's the uh, publisher's um, uh, website. But anyway, let's go here. Now, I recognise these. These are obviously the um, page that I'm colouring at the moment in a series um, for you. So six of the items. They're not the... they were... I don't know if that's a row that were on top of each other. I know... yeah, I'm not sure. This is from the left-hand page, but they're, they're fairly big um, in the... I think they're about the same size as in the book. Um, They're bigger, I think, slightly bigger. Yeah, it looks slightly, maybe the same size, maybe very slightly bigger. And you can see they're not, that one isn't that one. So those have come down there. Look, the alarm clock is down there. They might be the same size, but uh, so they're not stupidly small. I mean, obviously, um, they, they are quite small in the book anyway, but, you know, they're, they're manageable for colouring, I would say. So there's that page. And then we have this one. So this is from a page where there are four items. I haven't actually coloured this one in the book yet. I suspect it's about the right size, the same size as in the book. Um, but I'm not going to flick through and do that for every one. I didn't show you this page. Um, this is the back of the postcard. It. I'm just checking if... Um, it's the same on all of them. It's quite tricky to see, but there's the floral key there from one page and flowers around there quite faint, obviously, because you might want to be writing on there. But there's a border of darker flowers and a cute little key there. I tend not to write very much on these. If I send them, I tend to write in pencil so you can sort of see what's going on. And I always put them in an envelope to post because I feel that they might get a postmark on them because sometimes it's done on the wrong side um, or, um, you know, they might get tatty in the post and actually they're fairly thin. They're not, um, they're not really thick, sturdy card. So I tend to put them in an envelope. But anyway, let's move on. Let's have a good look at them all. 
So again, this looks, I think that is from the same page as the one before. I haven't, I just haven't done these, so I'm not entirely sure, but that's rather cute. I like that. Uh, this is from, this is a little excerpt from the big double page spread. Um, I've done this page. Um, I think that's about the size in the book. It's not too small, which is nice. However, this one is rather tiny. Um, I will turn it around and zoom out a little just so you can see it the right way up. Um, yes, yeah, so that's quite small. We've got really little tiny flower details, but it is it isn't the whole page because some of these are cut, uh, you know, uh, it's a bit, but it is shrunk. So, uh, you know, sometimes we do get, but what I do with these that are really small is I sometimes just send them without coloring them, you know, um, so you don't have to. But this one again is a, is a chopped bit of this page. It's a really nice page. I like this page. So it'd be nice to colour it again. And I, for me, that's not too unmanageable. They are quite little. I've coloured smaller, bef smaller bits before. And um, it's, if you use a really um, good um, a pencil that can go to a really good point, then uh, you should be okay with that one. Ah, oh, this is the page that I think a lot of people um, find a bit daunting with all the tiny mushrooms but you just get a little bit to do on this page I think it's rather nice I actually really enjoyed doing this page so. but this is a bit small so this is um, I would have personally had that round the other way and a bit bigger and maybe just one but you know that's just me obviously I don't know how much say Johanna gets or whether it's just a publisher that decides but for me that's a bit small yeah uh, we have the office page with the stationery. I've coloured this page. I think um, that's about the size it is in the book. It's quite small. I know some people are a bit turned off by this page, but actually um, you could use it to pin up on your desk or on a notice board at work, give it to someone as a leaving present. You have to colour it in. You can just leave it black and white. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the lovely... Um... Oops, wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely hive page it is a bit smaller but if the bees are a bit small but the rest of it for me is quite manageable the key's a bit small but you could always uh, color over it to sort of make it hidden because I quite like the fact that the doors and the keys can be quite hidden in this book um, or you can um, just use a bit of pen you know so uh, you don't have to do um, you know it, 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 it'll work Right, so this again is from a page I haven't done yet. It's a page that I wanted to do for you guys. Um, you know, each little item. Um, I'm not sure whether these are slightly smaller. I think on the actual page they're quite small. So, uh, but you've got the sort of um, dressing table items, I suppose. Now this is a little bit, I think it should be the other way around, but I'll leave it that way because it doesn't really matter. This is from um, the sort of double page spread with um, these little detail florals on. Um, I've done this page in the book. I actually didn't do a background and I probably wouldn't for this either because it's uh, quite fine work. Oh, this is a nice page. I really enjoyed doing this page. I think it wasn't the first page I did, but it was one of the first pages I did with all these sort of magical items. Such fun. Ah, this was the first page I did for you. Um, all the um, sort of puddings and things. So um, yeah, I've done these on a video already. Um, but uh, I don't think these, these are quite small, actually. I was going to say I don't think they're that small, but they are really. But uh, I could cope with this, but yeah. I think that could be the size that's in the book. And I actually think that some people find the book a little bit daunting because of the small details. So, uh, and this page has been shrunk. And it's really quite small. I've just recently coloured this one. I actually used a colour cube card for each floor, so a different one for each. So my bottom floor was all greys, and one was a very pinky. I can't remember the other one. It was green, I think. So, because uh, I, I, I really had no idea what to do with it and have so many details, I didn't want to do loads of different colours. So I just grabbed a different card for each one. That, for me, is too detailed. I can't see me colouring that, but I'll probably send it to someone, as I say, as a card, just without colouring it, you know. Oh, we have our steampunk friends here. Now, these are quite small. I think I would have only put one on a page. Um, there's so much detail in there. However, I have an idea how you could colour these. And I might do that, actually. I might, I'm might. i going to pick one to colour. 
I might do this one. Oh, and we've got these two as well. Yeah, I'll definitely do this one because we've got two. Um, you can use the idea. So, yeah. Ah, oh, this page. I like this page. I haven't coloured it yet. I'm, again, it's another one that I've been planning to do as a video. I've got so many video ideas. It's just crazy. But uh, we'll see. I know Johanna's done a few of these in a video. Not, not the specific ones from higher up on the page and I know um, other people are doing them too so uh, but I think I will now this one I've done as a video now, trying to make sure I zoom out not in right there we go so this is our sort of owl post it's very um, fine detail um, I'm not sure um, whether I will colour this one either um, or just send it to someone because it's just they're just really pretty as standalone cards, you know. Oh, and this one. This was actually my first first page I coloured. I think someone asked me to do this one. Um, yeah, again, very fine. I'm not sure. I think it, you know, look how little these are. I think it's manageable, but it's going to take a lot of patience. And if you are if you use things like Prismas, I think you'd be forever sharpening. So, again, it might be just be something I would send without colouring. Oh, these are nice though. Um, I've done videos of these two already. I've done all the bottles. I think there's six of them on a page. These might be a little smaller than in the book, but not significantly so. There are quite a few details there. That I quite like to do this one again because I use colour cube cards and I never got one that was the colours that I imagined I wanted to do that. But anyway, it was still um, a sort of interesting exercise. Now we have our pineapple house. Um, yeah, again, quite small in here, but I think there's not too many small details. The, this bits and this bit aren't, so I think this it is a manageable one. I would colour that one. We have our telephone. Yeah, I wasn't too keen on how I coloured mine. Well, I like the idea was good, and then when I did it, there was something about it that I didn't quite like. Um, it wasn't quite how I imagined, so I might have another go, but these are so tiny. I might, I'm deep tempted to colour this outside and maybe not the middle. I don't know. Would it work? I don't know until I try. Oh, and we have this one. Now this is um, obviously our geranium bathtub. Again, there's a lot of detail in there. So, you know, I could probably do it, but I don't know if I will. I think I love doing these so we'll see I think this is the last one yeah now the postcards are glued in only which means they fall out so once you take one out which I'm about to do um, the others tend to all fall out I find that with it but they are designed to be s taken out and sent not kept in the book so this was one I was going to do wasn't it so um, I think um, it doesn't matter you don't want them to rip as you pull them out so you want them to be I usually fold them a few times you want them to uh, come out quite easily yeah so let's put that on there now what I'm going to do here is cheat massively and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my Ergosoft pencils which I happen to have next to me because I think they'll be the best for this um, this small um, design I'm just grabbing my list of colours for my Ergosofts um, <clears throat> what have I got I'm going to use for the body of the snail I usually use a grey so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with that idea. My grey ergo is quite small. <laughs> this is number eight, which is the, um, it's just called grey. I do have another one of these. It's just not in here. So yeah, it's a bit small. Um, and what I think I'm going to do, this is just for the body. I'm going to ignore the cogs. I'm just going to do this bit, this round bit here is a circle. Actually, come in a bit closer for you. I'm only going to do the snail. I'm not going to do the butterfly. I think um, we'll just do the one. And then I won't feel like I've got a rush. I can show you slowly. Um, I'm saying rushing. I know um, some of you say oh, we don't mind about the length of your videos. It's not about that. It's about the fact that the sun is creeping across my desk. And I'd quite like to uh, 
get it done before I have to shut the blind. There we go, and those bits. So I'm just block colouring in those um, eye stalk. Is that the right word? <laughs> so um, now I'm going to ignore every bit of Johanna's detailing. Okay. Now I realise this is sort of steampunky. Now when I did this, I've already done this snail as a video in the book, the one in, from the book. And I used um, metallic pencils, which I really liked um, and I felt um, were very appropriate for steampunk metal. But I don't, I do have some metallic pencils in here, but they're, um, I haven't opened them yet. They're, I've got to do an unboxing video for those. So um, I haven't grabbed those. I thought I would just show you with non-metallic. Um, you might not have metallic pencils. Some people I know really don't like them, and that's fair, you know. I um, I have got a set which I'm not very keen on, um, so you know it varies, um, and you also have to limit your expectations. Shall we say, if you think they're going to be shiny, you're going to be disappointed because they're not. They don't shine that much, but I like the colours. So uh, that's just the way I feel about them. Right, so you can see that I'm trying to layer up a bit more along the edge than in the body. Now what you could do here, there are lots of options. I'm going to grab a black if I can find it. Oh, I've got a new, nice new black. It's number nine, by the way. And do a little bit more shadowing under where this um, shell is. Um, what you could do here is get a silver pen and draw over all the little details in silver, you know, or colour in the cogs with a silver pen, you could do that, or you could colour in the cogs with the black and leave them a bit shiny in places or whatever. I'm not, I'm going to keep it like that, that simple, that's all I'm doing. Now the shell. Now, we've got a slight stripe going on in the way Johanna's drawn this. Um, you can see little sections. And I think I'm going to use that to help me. So I'm going to grab two brownish colours. I'm just looking at what I've got. Um, in the ergos, I have got... It's all right, my, I've got a set of pencils here, but they're mixed up. Um, they're all my different... Um, um, They've my different steadlers all mixed together, so I've got to get work out which of the ergos. So I've got this 76 and I've got this 73. So my 76 is my Van Dyke brown, so it's quite dark. But my 76 is 72, sorry, is 73. Oh goodness, burnt sienna. So we've got two different browns, and I'm going to do a stripey effect, which I hope <laughs> will work. We'll see. So each little section here, I'm going to do in a different colour. And I'm going to try and make them look a little bit shiny by making them lighter in the middle like that. And it's much quicker if you're using two colours to do all of one first. So I'm just going to do all of this Van Dyke brown first. Try and fade it towards the middle a bit, which done very successfully there because I've made it too sharp. Now this is a really huge section and I'm going to leave it that big. Okay, You could think about maybe making it into smaller sections but these are tiny so I'm just going to go with what Johanna's drawn. And as you can see I'm totally ignoring all her little details because it's too detailed for me. Okay, um, And because these pencils are see-through we can still see them. So it's not like we're sort of scribbling over them. Um, we're just, um, you know, not colouring them separately. There we go. And then this one, um, like that. Yeah, we didn't know how long this book would take to arrive from Germany. Our post here is a bit rubbish, to be fair. 
I don't think we had any yesterday, for example. This one, look, this sort of goes around. Can you see that these pieces, it doesn't look... I'm going to actually take that right to there. You may decide not to do that. So I'm going to make my own section like that. Okay, I'm going to take that to there. But you might decide um, you want to put that bit around there in the lighter colour. Completely up to you. Um, oh, it's a very noisy plane going by. I think these took about a week to arrive, maybe? So, uh, as our post has been so rubbish here, that I sent a, I sent something to America. Mm, that's quite a big section, but I'm going to do it as a big section. Um, it took about a month to get there. Now, our post to America is supposed to take five to ten days so uh, but he I don't know whether it's a problem there or here to be honest but here um, we're not we haven't there were no postal worker strikes in that time um, but I noticed that we don't seem to have a postman in our street every day so I think there might be some staffing issues or they're just not um, be keeping to the time so well I don't know but um, it so it could easily be at our end so if it took just a week I was quite impressed I'm gonna leave the middle right grabbing the next one which was the burnt sienna number 73 and fill in the gaps okay so it's uh, it gets easier now so I'm trying to make it a little bit lighter in the middle I just think it Makes it look a little bit metallic and shiny. Whoops, sorry. It's gone a bit drunk and squiffy. I was listening to a podcast um, just before I decided to come and do this. And it was about um, menopause, which um, was quite interesting. And it was talking about how women, at the age they go through all their hormonal changes, are actually usually at quite a difficult stage in their life anyway and quite a few of their symptoms might be more due to their lifestyle as well as their menopause not that they were saying that some don't really struggle and need help but it was saying we really need to make sure we look after ourselves at this point in our lives essentially which I found very interesting because it was saying women often have teenagers which I do um, which can be quite stressful which it is, you know, exams and things like that. And also they're having their hormonal changes at the same time as you, which is <laughs> really bad timing. Um, and women might have, you might have life events, more life events at this age, um, you know, major life events. Luckily I don't, haven't. And maybe caring for, oops, I'm going out of the lines, anyway. Um, maybe caring for parents, which fortunately I haven't been either. Um, but I know women that are and uh, now I've got this swirly bit which I'm going to do in another colour and I'm just trying to decide I'm thinking black is a possibility I think I need to go dark I'm going to go dark because I've gone over the line in so many areas that I need to cover up my mistake effectively if you haven't gone over the line and you've been a bit neater than me, you probably have been neater than me because most people are, to be fair, I'm a bit messy. Um, you might want to do it in number 16, the um, golden ochre. I think that would look quite pretty, but I am going to use number nine, which is the black. And I'm really just going to pop it down. I'm going to over colour a bit to make it quite dark. Um, yeah, so I thought that was quite interesting. And advice was for women to try and, you know, have time to yourself and um, to wind down, take it easy, try and get some, be, go outside once a day if you can, even if it's for a very quick walk around the block. Manage your expectations of yourself. Don't think that you can just do everything. I think I'm going to just make that a little bit lighter in the middle. And, um, you know, try and eat a healthy diet obviously and keep your sort of alcohol limit amounts down and your um, smoking and things like that um, if you can 
it's easier said than done but uh, and it's all the advice that we probably know already oh and get you know good sleep try and exercise a bit but don't you know don't overdo it I'm just tidying up there we go I'm gonna take yeah I think I'm gonna stop there as I say I'm not gonna do the butterfly as well but you can see what I've done with my butterfly I'll do a grey body and probably two different pinks for the wings and that'll be him done but I won't um as I say I won't do him now because I'm gonna uh, finish here but I hope that gave you a different idea on how to colour him. We can still see Johanna's um, drawing. He looks quite shiny, which I like, and but he's quite simple at the same time. And, uh, and one little thing you could do, if you want, with a snail shell, I quite often do a darker area around the edge of each coil, um, both sides, to make it look more rounded that way. But because I've coloured it this way to put the shine there, um, to try and I maybe you might want to colour it the other way so that it's darker here and lighter across the middle to give it um, to give it some shine. I'll link um, my cards, the little links in the top corner. I might link to some other snail videos so you can see different ways that I've done it, or you can just go to my YouTube main page and there's a little search in there where you can just search my pet my videos if you put snail in there you can see lots of different snail ways to color snails but yeah i'm happy with how he has come out um which is good um so yes so there we go so thank you for watching um yeah i hope um i hope you enjoyed that um it's a little reminder of what this was all about the uh, the uh postcards which i think are you know i like them and uh i will send them all but as i say i may not color them all um but i think they're all really pretty so thank you so much for watching um have a really lovely day oh there'll be links in the description to where you can get them as i said earlier i will try and see if, what i can find where i can find them but it may only be on um, um german amazon so obviously some people can't might not be able to buy from there my husband could I don't know if he set up an account or whether he did it as a guest purchase I don't know how he did it but um or um I'll see if there's anywhere else sometimes um little places have them that you might not expect so I'll do a bit of research but you know I'm not promising anything it may just be Amazon but anyway thank you so much for watching have a really really lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>